Welcome back. Jet Blue is lending out a helping hand to those affected by Hurricane Irma. The airline is providing hot meals to those in need. CBS 4's Jim Barry is live at the BB&T Center in Sunrise, where it's all getting underway right now. Jim. It is, and talk about the power of social media. The word went out, and look at the tremendous response. JetBlue partnering with the Florida Panthers. The Panthers supplying the manpower, all volunteers, their staff showing up to make this happen. JetBlue bringing 20 food trucks here to the parking lot at the BB&T Center, and we've got a tremendous turnout here. Joining me now is Matt Caldwell, President and CEO of the Florida Panthers. And Matt, you guys really pulled this thing together quickly. We did, yeah. They, uh, JetBlue called us Monday night once the hurricane started the break and said, hey, can we pull this off? And we said yes first, and we, we would figure it out later. Um, it was a lot of logistics that were involved. We had to uh, coordinate with lo local fire and police and provide security and, and then uh, get the area set up. So we're all good to go. We made it happen. And, uh, and JetBlue, they're just unbelievable people and a great partner and so nice of them to do all this. So folks coming out, uh, what can they expect when they come out? So as soon as you just pull up to gate three or five, we have folks outside directing traffic. It'll be very easy. As soon as you pull up to the gate, the parking attendant will give you a, a ticket, one per person that's in your car, and it gets you a hot, a hot food beverage, a food meal, I should say, and then a cold beverage. Wow. Uh, so it's a great meal for you. Well, Matt, thanks for doing this, and yeah. uh, you guys are really stepping up big time. I know all of South Florida appreciates it. Of course. All right, Good thank time. you. So they're doing this from 11 to 2 right now, and then they're, they're going to restock the food trucks and come back from 4 to 7 this afternoon and look at the response. And let me tell you, if you're hungry, this is a place to come out and get fed. In fact, there's some folks here uh, some of these lines. you got the jerk cuisine. Let's go over here to the curbside gourmet real quick and talk to some of these folks real quick. And uh, how, how are you? Hi. We're live on CBS4. Hi, I brought so, my daughter, Danny. She's turning actually 18 today. Well, happy birthday. So we're you. celebrating. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of them stepping up to do this? I, this is fantastic. Uh, people really appreciate this. I mean, we're all going through such a hard time here in Florida. And for the kids, they're, you know, between cabin fever, stir crazy, and just plain hot and hungry. So <laughs> yeah. we're happy to be here. You got power yet? I did. I'm lucky, one of the lucky few that has power. But I have a lot of family and friends that are out there struggling. And we have people camping out at our house. So we're just all trying to band together. There you go. Spirit of togetherness. Well, good luck with this. Thank you very much. All right. And that's really what this is all about, a real spirit of togetherness here in South Florida. And this is just one place that exemplifies how South Florida is stepping up and sticking together as we try to rebound and recover from Hurricane Irma. We are live at the BB&T Center. I'm Jim Barry. Back to you.